People want to keep their spot. I guess it's understandable, but there is a group of uh, community activists out there who think this tradition needs to cruise. Side streets are slowly showing signs of improvement in Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood tonight, but finding a parking spot is still difficult. And in true Chicago style, many who have dug out a spot want to make sure it's waiting for them when they come home. Throughout the city, it's starting to look like a scattered garage sale. In order to save a parking spot, most people are using chairs or cones, but you can also find coolers, scrap wood, broken furniture, half of a cornhole game, dead plants, an old tire, even a microwave? Well, those we spoke with today think the unwritten rule is fair. Oh, when a guy does all his work like I'm proud to do, I say yes. Residents also say it's especially important for senior citizens to be able to save their spots. Joe DeFazio had to pay someone to do the work. And it cost me about $50 to dig it out because I'm too old to dig, so I had to have it dug for me. But members of an organization called Chair Free Chicago say this tradition is unfair and selfish. They're out working today, literally, hoping to make a difference in Chicago's Bridgeport neighborhood. About a dozen volunteers showed up to shovel. It's basically a group of people that believe in being neighborly to each other and kind of helping each other dig out of the snow instead of just digging yourself out and claiming the public property as your own. They're fighting a tough battle. Today, people in the neighborhood say the tradition, along with the junk in the street, should stay for now. At a time like this, yes. Prior to this, no. <laughs> Meanwhile, the city's mighty Department of Streets and Sanitation is choosing to stay out of the fight. That's a thing that they're doing and they're trying to save what they dug out, and uh, we're not going to take a position on that. But Streets and Sand Commissioner Tom Burns says eventually residents will have to clear all that junk out of the street. Reporting from Pilsen, Dan Ponce, WGN News. Yeah, Marcel? Like